New at 10, an 86 year old dialysis patient signed up for the trip of a lifetime months before the pandemic hit. But now that she can't travel and is at high risk for COVID-19, the company hired to perform her dialysis aboard the cruise ship isn't giving her a refund. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar spoke to the family. That brand new scooter with the attached umbrella and orange caution flag was intended to get Yvonne Garrett around the streets of Europe. She's 86 and had her sights set on visiting this church in Denmark where her ancestors are from. The fact that we are not going to be able to do this is pretty emotional for me. Garrett's daughter Diane Langston booked the family dream cruise back in the fall before COVID crept in. Two weeks aboard Celebrity Cruise Line Silhouette, leaving from Southampton in July. This would have been just an unbelievable trip and an unbelievable memory to have. Paying more than 14 grand to dialysis at sea. Every day you wake up and you're like fantasy hours. The company provides dialysis and medical help aboard cruises so patients like Garrett can still travel. It's whether the cruise actually sails or it doesn't. My mother's not going to be allowed to get on the ship. As COVID became a reality, celebrity did require guests over 70 have a doctor sign off declaring them fit to travel, certifying no severe health ailments. Langston says no doctor would sign that given her mom's lengthy medical history. My mother is really at risk for COVID-19. She's a super, super high risk. But late last month, the cruise industry has since lifted that requirement of a fit to travel doctor's note as cruises have anchored for the time being. If we want to cancel, well, we can. And then, you know, they have huge penalties. If you us at sea, is acting like she's still just going on this cruise. Langston says her mom is not getting on that boat and is calling on dialysis at sea to give back her money. I feel like they don't even care at all about anything but the money. Celebrity Cruises plans on resuming their cruises on June 12th, meaning that Garrett's European cruise isn't canceled, at least not yet. The president of Dialysis at Sea said that if Garrett can provide a doctor's note saying that she's not fit to travel, the refund process will start. We, of course, will follow up. I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.